world famous Rainbow Bar and Grill in Hollywood, California to witness the unveiling of the statue of the late great Lenny Kilmister of Motorhead. Stay tuned. Tonight, tonight, on Reality Show.
night, Reality Check viewers. We are here at the world famous Rainbow Bar and Fucking Grill in Hollywood, California. And it has been a fabulous uh, night. We got to see the statue, dude. It's amazing. What a great likeness. Lemmy would really get a kick out of it, I think. You know, he'd probably say something really funny, you know, like fucked up. But deep down, he'd really like it. So. So God bless you, Lemmy. Even though I don't believe in God, I don't think you did either. But still, you were God, so bless you. <laughs> Lemmy lives on forever here at the Rainbow. Come by and see it. Um, it's an amazing likeness, I have to say. Whoever the artist was, I have to meet this guy or girl because it's fucking awesome. <laughs> the Lemmy, a Jack and Coke. And Lemmy and I drank many Jack and Cokes. It's true. I almost remember some of it. So yeah. So we got Lisa's here and Beth is here. So we got a whole fucking San Francisco contingent because that's how much Lemmy touched our lives, you know? And that's why we're here. And forevermore, his presence will be in this bar because when he was alive, he was pretty much always in this bar. When he wasn't on tour, seriously. I don't know how many times I bumped into him here. Just randomly, I'd come down, show up, and there he was. And that's why he was so great. Lemmy statue unveiling, and boy was it an unveiling. We're here at the Rainbow Bar and Grill in fabulous Hollywood, California, and what an event it was. Look at all these people here. Everyone's uh, crowded to get their picture taken with a statue, man. It's a beautiful thing. All this love for Lemmy. Personally, I think Lemmy would be a little embarrassed about a statue being engraved to him, but you know what? I know he also appreciates all the love his fans give him, and we're here giving our love to Lemmy. We miss you, brother. And May this, may this statue uh, uh, bring, bring many memories to come here at the Rainbow Bar and Grill, and we're going to go talk to some of the people that are here, so stay tuned. Yeah! Wow. Danny, you missed it. Oh, oh, fucking Lemmy. <laughs> fucking Lemmy. Can I say something? Thank you, Lemmy, for all your fucking music and fucking long live the big fucking four, fuck yeah, and I don't know what, what uh, the fuck I'm saying, but I'm talking. He's a little drunk, but know this, let me maybe oh, gone. He's drunk. A little, a little, a little. But here's the point. He's maybe gone, but he's with us in spirit. His music continues, and know this. He's never dead. He's with us always. Rest in peace, my brother. Rest in peace, fucking Lemmy. We fucking love you. Yes. Yes. Lemmy is God. Yes. Always God. <laughs> Right here at the Rainbow Room, the epicenter of the Lemmy Memorial this evening. The statue revealing was amazing. The people here, the love that's here, the amount of people that are here celebrating the godfather, the grandfather, the epicenter, the the tributary that led you all metal. The man the, that the brought us all together, metal punk. He is our grandfather. He brought us all together. He's the gentleman, metalhead. Rockhead, Grindcore, whatever your uh, specialty in the middle may be, it all goes back to Lemmy. Every person, every pioneer that calls themselves a pioneer, it all goes back to Lemmy. As you can hear in the background, and as my camera operator hangs around the room here, takes a look at all these amazing metalheads, there is absolutely nothing but love going on in this room this evening. And me coming from Canada, all I can say is, this was a pilgrimage. I'm a metal drummer. I have many brothers and sisters in the music industry that wish they could be here right now. And I am bringing their love, their hope for the future. And we know it's strong. From Brazil, Sepultura and Soulfly Country, what's up? What's up? What's your name? How's it going? Helena. Right, and you came all the way from Brazil for this uh, great unveiling. Yeah, of course. Yeah, have you ever been to L.A. before? Yeah, I live here for two oh, years. Yeah. You live here now? Yeah, yeah. So the rainbow's your hangout? 
Yeah, of course. Yes, how would you like the unveiling? What do you think of the statue? The statue is awesome. Yes. I, I already took a picture with the statue. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah of great. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love Lemmy. Yeah. Le Lemmy is my god. Yes, he, uh, he is our god. Lemmy is god. Yeah, Lemmy is god. Yes. It's, it's, it's better than Jesus. Right. And well, thank you so much for talking to us. You enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah, thank you very much. And I've run into the creators of this fabulous, incredible memorial to a great man, the mighty Lemmy. Tell us about how it all came together. How did you guys get involved? Well, it's just been a fam fantastic project from the get-go. The, the Rainbow contacted us about eight months ago, and we worked with Mikey and with Travis Moore and came up with a design that, you know, everybody was, would recognize who it was and, and uh, did a lot of research. It's and re a really great likeness, man. You guys did an amazing job. Thank you. We did a little, lot of research with photographs and, you know, made sure all the patches and everything were, like, 100% authentic. Yeah. So everything you see on him right down to his wedding ring is, like, pure Lemmy. There's no... You know, nothing's made up. This is all real. No, no, no extra need be added. Exactly. So we tried to get as much attitude we could on his face, just kind of a you know a badass look. And the, the you know, I've seen a lot of statues, and some of them haven't been so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, who is that guy again? You right, know, and yeah. it's supposed to be you know a famous ball player, for example, at, right. the, at the Hall of Fame or whatever. And you're like, okay, that's so not that guy, but whatever. Yeah. You know, his name's on the black. Yeah, we but made this sure. This was a fabulous. We made sure, you know, we ran it by the family, and they were they were happy with it. So cool. once the once the family signed off, we knew that we had a, a pretty good likeness of him, and so when it so went to bronze. So how it sort of has a very lifelike kind of feeling to it, yeah. even though it's a cast. So right. Talk about that. So we went with a really organic feel. We, you know, it's an aged bronze. Oh. So it gives it, you know, look like it's a weathered look. A weathered look, yeah. kind of yeah. like Lemmy was. You know, exactly. I mean, he's definitely <laughs> weathered. So we Bless wanted, sir. as you look at it, like the jacket's faded out, the, yeah. everything has wear on it. Yeah. And that, I think that really captured his essence. Without question. And that's some of the, the, the detail I noticed is fantastic. So, um, you know, talk about who are the actual artists, how did it, what was the process? To I was the lead sculptor on this project. Fantastic. And Great I worked job. with uh, Travis Moore. He created a small maquette. Uh -huh. And then I, uh, we took that, you know, the idea from that maquette and, and brought, brought it to life and made it, you know, the life-size statue. It is an incredible piece of work. And I think if the man himself were here, he'd, well, he'd try to make a joke about it, I'm sure, <laughs> right? That's right. But he was always a kind of self-effacing. But deep down, he'd be proud, you know? Uh, yeah. He would be proud to witness this. He'd be really, like, amazed that all these people showed up, you know? Yeah, like, it was a fantastic night. Yeah. I loved when they unveiled it and they played the Ace of Spades. Like, it was fantastic. Couldn't the whole crowd went, yeah. yeah! You could just feel the positive The energy, energy was incredible. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah, and that's what, you know, we live for. So, Lemmy, we're sorry you're gone, but <laughs> you live on Lemmy, forever. Lemmy, love you, man. Bill Batoy, producer extraordinaire, who's like produced some of the, the, the best albums that are all in my collection. Well, thank you. Yeah, now, 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 how are you liking this event tonight and honoring Lemmy with the statue? Oh, this is awesome that this many people showed up, man. I mean, Lemmy deserves it, and uh, uh, the, there's still lines outside. I mean, yeah, a huge line going around the block right now. That is very awesome that uh, everyone showed up. This is pretty cool. I'm glad that I came here. This is like once in a lifetime, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm glad to see, see you tonight. I, uh, were, you, were you at the memorial uh, thing that was here? earlier this year? Uh, no, unfortunately I, I, I couldn't make that one. Now, 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 what projects are you working on right now? I'm finishing up a Mentors record. Oh. I'm uh, just starting a Municipal Waste record. And uh, I'm about to do a, a, a couple of local bands. One of them is a band called Stonebreed from here in LA that play a lot. So I'm staying busy. Yeah, you're, all, you're, all, you're all always busy just, just uh, producing bands, making them sound good, you know, put, you know, putting some metal masterpieces out there. That's yeah. what I try to do. All right, well, Bill, it's so good to see you, man. You enjoy the rest of the night. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, brother, good to see you. Good to see you. All right.
We got Big Andy here, here with, with us, man. Now, this guy was uh, Leatherface in the reboot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series, uh, 2000, what, 2003, 2004, right? 2003 and 2006. Okay. I, I, I give it his big example. So what was your experience working on that movie like and playing the iconic Leatherface? Iconic and amazing. Yeah. Um, challenging, rewarding, you know, incredible. Like, I was hearing this rumor that they were remaking the movie with a Christian view, which means I didn't want to see it originally. People making those movies now, you know, aren't the people I worked with. Yeah. Uh, I pretty much don't have much respect for the people doing it now. I think they're a bunch of hacks, but... Uh, I love what I was able to do for the franchise, and I, I, I love the, the movies, and you know, I'm proud to have been part of it, and it's part of my legacy. But what are we here for? We're here, yeah, for, well, Lemmy. We're here for Lemmy. That's the next thing I was going to ask you. How do you, like, how do you like this event, man? Yeah. Oh, look at that. You're a true Motorhead fan. How do I like an event honoring Lemmy to such a great extent? I mean, I think I just answered that with a tattoo in the center of my chest. Right. I also am going gonna, gonna to commemorate this evening with the greatest new product that I was uh, instrumental in putting together, uh, Motorhead Kush. I brought it to Motorhead and uh, Lemmy personally yeah. and told him what we wanted to do and we wanted to honor him as, uh, you know, such a pioneer in rock and roll to be the first, everybody does beer, everybody's doing whiskey, but we wanted him to be the first uh, band to have their own medical marijuana pre-rolled cigarette packs. And uh, we're proud of the, the Motorhead fucking California finest. Do you have any other um, movie project or anything you want to tell us about? Yeah, I have this new movie uh, that I finished. It's on the way out called American Dresser with uh, Tom Berenger and uh, Keith David, Gina Gershon, Bruce Dern, and a lot of really cool people. And uh, that's, uh, that'll be Billy Joel's one of the producers on the film. I look for American Dresser coming out soon. And that's a wrap at the Motorhead statue unveiling at the Rainbow Bar and Grill on Sunset. Andrew Bernarski and company, rock and roll, baby. How you liking this uh, event? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, all these people showing support for Lemmy. I mean, we're old schoolers, so we already know about all this, but it's great to see that, you know, he brought the world together, the world of rock and roll, really. I mean, yeah. in the end, you know, he's just the king, really. Did you look at Heavy metal king, right, Lemmy? Right, he's God. Did you, did you see that statue? I haven't seen it yet, because I just got here about 20 minutes ago. Right, 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 right on. So uh, I, 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 you, you're, you're playing with Attica 7 currently with my Evan Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing with Attica 7. Uh, we did the Mayhem tour a couple years ago, and uh, we're going to Bulgaria on October 1st to do a show. And uh, I have a new band actually called Westville Massacre. Oh, right we just toured with Seven Dust and uh, Trivium. Did a six-week tour with them, and uh, you're always doing projects all the time, man. You just like I stay play. busy. Yeah, I stay always, busy. You, you always stay busy. I mean, you were in Lizzie Borden. You were playing one of my favorites, Hellion, recently. Yeah, yeah. I uh, actually I met them through a thing that we do on a weekly basis called Ultimate Jam Night, yeah. and uh, we have it at the Whiskey every Tuesday. So last night we just did a tribute to Lemmy, actually. So we have 40 to 50 known artists come out and play. So last night. I played with, actually on stage with uh, Rex Brown from Pantera, um, Carla Harvey from the Butcher Babies, Tracy Guns was on the other guitar, and then we had Matt Starr on drums from uh, Ace Freely and Mr. Big. And then I did a, another couple songs with Doug Pinnock from King's X. It's a star-studded night, just like one person after another. Like, I were rocks. Well, good to see you, man. So, yeah, Barry in the house. All right, we're out of here. Yes. Caton, here we are again. The last time we saw Caton, we are at the memorial service talking about how this is the man responsible for getting the ball rolling on this project. Yeah, but I'll tell you, man, I'm more proud of, I mean, I'm stoked about that. I'm, I'm really proud that I was, you know, the person who came up with the idea, but I'm more stoked about the Motorhead fans for getting behind this. Guys like you, you, and everybody watching this. So supportive. It just goes to show you the power of Lemmy and Motorhead. Yeah, because this started out first with, with, with a vote to get the right number of votes to approve this. Yeah, yeah. And then I think, what, was there the Kickstarter going too for it? Yeah, it yeah. Also, there's a lot of red tape to go through with the rainbow and all that crap. All but that shit. It all taken care of very quickly. Yeah, and, I mean, think about it. This was done pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, from, from the memorial till now, that's lightning speed, I think. Yeah. Getting a statue built is not easy. And there was a lot of red tape, but to be honest with you, totally worth it. Now it's here, man. It's going to be standing forever. 
Even after, even after we're fucking dead, that Lemmy statue is going to be in there for generations to see. And I think that's what's kind of cool about the Motorhead fans. This is something that we're giving to the generations to come, man. Let's get an advanced preview of the statue before it was uh, unveiled. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to keep it a secret. There was photos sent to me that they sent me to look over all kinds of stuff, you know. Yeah. Lemmy! So, yeah, I mean, but we went over everything, made sure it was down to detail. I mean, it looks great. I haven't seen it up close yet because there's so many fans here. Yeah. But I, I want the fans to enjoy it. I can see it later on tonight, like 2 in the morning, you know, when it's a yeah. little bit more mellower. But, yeah, it's awesome. All right, Harold, you get back up there. And, 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 Thank and, you, and, brother. And, and you go rock, rock em, brother. It's good Thank to see you. Man. Good to see All you. Right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're definitely proud of your hubby, aren't you? That's right. That's yeah, right. You, did, you did a lot of hard work. You just had your anniversary, didn't you? Yeah, we have uh, 11 years together, but 18 all together, so we're, we work well together for sure. Yeah. He's a well, great after guy. Seven years, it was about time you got hitched, huh? He likes to think about things. <laughs> right, so what do you think of the statue, man? Did you, did you get an advanced preview of the statue before the unveiling? This is it. I still can't even see it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, probably going to be all freaking night before you get your own personal, uh, up close and personal with it. I just got a chance to uh, look at each name on the donations, and it was, a lot of people left really kind messages, and they came from Japan and South America, Europe, all over the world, of course, U.S., and a lot of them wish they were here tonight, too, but they'll... they'll if you, ha, He'll be here forever now, so they'll yeah. be able to come and visit. And uh, just an emotional day for me, so I'm really happy about it. Yeah, and thank right. you yeah, for a, a grand day. Yeah, right, yeah. Good, good to see, see everybody. Thank you, right. Danny. So this is a lovely Twee. You're a model for Rock and Roll Gangstar. Rock and Roll Gangstar apparel clothing. Yes. I have to be a Rock and Roll Gangstar customer. Where is it? Yeah, Where's yeah. your hat? Yeah, yeah, and I have a cowboy hat, but I want to wear this one tonight. It looks great, but, though. But, but I, I, do, I do have a studded rock and roll gangster cowboy hat that I do wear. I can't wait to see pictures of you. Uh, there's it. pictures of me on my Facebook already wearing it. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, they got, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, are you in the posters that they uh, I'm out? in the posters. I'm in the booty shirt posters. I'm in the car posters. We're doing some new stuff, too, with the crop tops and the fringe, you know. Now, how'd you get hooked up with Rock and Roll Gangstar? Um, funny, my ex-boyfriend was a guitarist, and they sponsored him, and they saw me and wanted me to be their promo girl. Right, how long <laughs> you been doing that? Been doing it for about two, three years now. Uh, have you always been a model? Yeah. yeah, but I'm loyal to Rock and Roll Gangstar now. Yeah, right, 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 right on. Yeah, 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 because they, they, they got some of the best damn clothing. They I, do? I, I definitely endorse them. Amazing! Fuck yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right on. Now, how do you like this event tonight? I love it. It's amazing. That statue is perfect. Yes. All for Lemmy, because he's amazing. Uh, have you ever met Lemmy before? I met him once. Yeah. I met him once with Mickey. That's cool. on, uh, Mickey's an awesome on guy. On the Gigantor uh, tour. Yeah, with Megadeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that tour too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen Motorhead many, many times, but you know. Such a gentleman. Yeah, I mean, if it can't go wrong with a Motorhead shirt. Motorhead shirt, and this... Rock and Roll Gangstar booty shorts, which you guys don't see. Yeah, yeah well, let's see the shirts. Let's, Come on, let's, let's see, see the, the booty shorts. Booty shirt. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. That's the shit right there, man. That is the shit right there. <laughs> move your hair here. Let's move this. There we go. That is good time. <laughs> My name is Amy. Amy, yeah, yeah, this is Amy. Where'd you come from, Amy? I'm coming from uh, Rygood, California. We just had a blue blue cat fire in there. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, 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 now you have a special picture with Lemmy, don't you? Yes. Uh, a few days before he died. Yeah, two days before he passed, you want to show us that picture? Sure. Passing. Awesome. That was the first, first time, time I met him. Now, what, 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 son. what was it like when you met him? I said, how are you doing? And he said, I'm fine, thank you. And he also called in my hand and gave me a hug and I told him thank you so much for taking a photo with me and I, I told him he was my I was fun of him and he was a big legend and he just called me and said thank you for coming to my birthday yeah and it was so good to meet you love your tattoos thank you and your chest of course yes all right here he is you can see him any night you want down here at the rainbow so come on down pay tribute to them what you did is our homegirl Jasmine St. Clair. Hi. Yeah, yeah. How are you liking the Lemmy event tonight? It's. I feel like I'm in Wayne's World or like a version of Wayne's World. 
Yeah, when you're on Reality Check TV, that helps. Yeah, like he could be like Garth, and you could be like Wayne. Yeah, look, he looks we, totally we, like Garth. Look, we're totally That's like uh, dueling microphones here. Swing. Yeah, swing. That's I can swing when I see you, baby. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now, now the la last time I saw you was at the. You actually went to the to the service last time, didn't you? It you was actually the, really depressing. Well, of course. Um, this is really great tonight. I think that statue is, um, Travis did an amazing job. It's very close to what Lemmy looks like and everything, the boots, the clothing, uh, like you could feel his presence like when you're by the statue. It's yeah, really absolutely. awesome. I'm glad they did this and Kayton from Hyrax put this together with Travis and it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 now you, you, you're here with your own film crew doing your thing, aren't yes, you? Yes, we're here with Blast Furnace Media, which is awesome. We've done a bunch of metal interviews because that's all we do is metal. Yeah. Anything else sucks, except you're like if you're an NWA, that's okay. Um, yeah, maybe they'll do like an Easy e statue somewhere. Uh, no thanks, not interested. I would be, that's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, so it's been a good night. It's just been really packed. Oh, hell yeah. You know, you have the sardine can in there now, especially around that statue. Oh, God. Yeah, and like you and your steampunk stuff, you must be extremely warm. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell steampunk is. I just thought this hat was very cool and very Lemmy esque. And everyone's calling me steampunk. I don't even know what the fuck it's that is. Because of the goggles on it. Where can we get information about you and your stuff? My stuff? Okay. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Jasmine St. Clair. There's no E at the end of Jasmine. Instagram, The Real Jasmine St. Clair. Twitter. I have a movie coming out next month, Angel of Reckoning. It's on VOD, then it goes to DVD. Yeah. Um, I just finished shooting a bunch of other things, which is keep up with me on social media. And now Blast Furnace Media. Yeah, but tell us about the Blast Furnace. Where can yeah. we see that? Check it out on YouTube. We have interviews with the Cattle Decapitation. We just covered the mini murder fest in LA, which is really cool. Dan Dismal is awesome. And now we're covering this event here. Yeah, remember our last interview at Fear Fest in San Francisco? I was drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you were on a roll that day, girl. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, we gotta get back we to our work. Get a few words from you. I would love to get a few words on you. All right. My turn to be interviewed now. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, that's it. Out here in front of the rainbow. It was a, it was a crazy situation. Everybody was jostling to stand next to a statue, which will be there forever. So uh, there we are. Rainbow. See? There we go. Rainbow. All right. So it's complete mayhem here at the rainbow as usual, and especially more tonight. So we brought it to you right here on Reality Check TV. I'm throwing Danny in the car and taking him home. I know he'd rather stand here and pick up metal chicks, but uh, -uh that's all right. <laughs> Besides, in his own words, he said, it would only be a quickie anyway. <laughs> that's this most of the time with Danny, so. All right, stay tuned, and we're out from LA. So there you have it, the Lemmy statue, here at the Rainbow, the unveiling, there it is, look at this thing. Life-size, this is about how tall he really was. It, it, it's great, it's beautiful. Come down here to the Rainbow Bar and grill, and grill and see it, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Ha, 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 ha.